What's up guys? Welcome to Chimpanzee Percussion. If you're new to this channel, welcome and we're so excited to have you join us. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to keep up to date on any new videos I'll be posting. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that most of you guys have to hear. Why do we drop our sticks? If you're probably a younger student within middle school or high school, you're noticing that your sticks end up on the floor more than they end up in your hands. Now, why do you think that might be? Now, for starters, I want you to ask yourself this question. Are you spending most of your time trying to learn the newest stick trick? Are you just flipping sticks or you see someone doing something cool and you're trying to imitate that with your drumsticks? Now, if your answer is probably yes and you're spending more of your time doing that than practicing, that might be why your sticks end up more on the floor than they end up on your hands. Now, why am I saying that? The reason is because some of us might be getting in trouble, whether it's by flipping our sticks in class and our sticks are just clinging on the floor, or we're at home and then just the sticks are on the floor. And if you're dropping your sticks consistently, you might notice that your sticks might end up changing in size and shapes. And so in a way, it might affect the tone, or it might even damage your drum because the shape is different on the beads of the stick. Now the reason why I'm bringing this topic is because we as percussionists need to spend as much time practicing our music instead of picking up our drumsticks from the floor. Now if you're spending most of your time flipping drumsticks, most of your time is going to be wasted just by doing that. Now another reason why you might be dropping sticks and not just by flipping might be just your grip. And so the reason why I'm bringing this up is whenever we play, if we're too loose and we don't have much grip on our fingers, our sticks can easily slip out and then just slide off to the floor. Or sometimes when we come in and close, our stick might even fly out. And so the more grip that you have on your hands, the better. Now I am not saying choke the drumstick. I'm saying have a little bit more grip on your fingers. And so all I'm asking you to do is just put a little bit more tension on your fingertips and make sure that the stick doesn't wiggle out forward or even slide out as you're going back to your set position or as you're playing your instrument. And now, even as you're playing, there's times where you even might hit your drumstick and all of a sudden your stick just flies out to the floor. Now, if that happens, that's also another indicator that you're not holding onto your sticks with a proper grip. You want to make sure that you have just enough tension on your drumsticks to where you can still move your fingers and still keep the stick in the same position. Now, one thing that you can do also is you can probably even draw a little line around the drumstick or even a dot. And if you do that, you'll know where exactly your finger has to go. Now we all just need to make sure that we're holding onto our drumsticks without adding too much tension and relieving too much tension for those things not to happen. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. Now, if you have any other reasons why you keep on dropping your drumsticks, please comment below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to keep up to date on any new videos I will be posting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to have fun.